It's Real Hair Talk with Club Rapunzel. I'm Monique, owner of Club Rapunzel, and today I'm sitting with Sue. Hi, everybody. My name is Sue, the Director of Business Development. I help people grow their business. I'm very passionate about bringing your greatness out. So we're going to hear about Sue's hair in just a minute. We're back with Sue. So tell us about doing your hair when you were younger and growing up. Well, when I was young, my mom used to pull my hair a lot. And I didn't like it at all. I have very, very, very curly hair. And she just decided, you know, we lived in the Dominican Republic at that time, you know, the weather, the humidity. We decided, you know what, I think you need to perm the thing. Oh my gosh. So there's a saddle for all those Spanish people, Dominicans, you know what I'm talking about. And that just, I did that for years until I moved back to New York where it was cold and not so fizzy, you know. So I was able to maneuver my hair going to the salon afterwards. So I would just go to the Dominican salon, they would do the roll sets and roll dry my hair. And you know, until I would what it again, do the curling style, and go back to the salon and just kept on going with that routine for a long time. So tell us a time when you can remember damaging your hair. Oof. One of the times. <laughs> I'll tell you, I think the first time I did the most damage to my hair was, you know, after I get that routine of going to the salon, getting a blow dry, and my curls were just flat. You know, every time I would just, you know, try to do a curly thing afterwards and um, I bleached my hair. <laughs> I bleached it. I wanted carrot hair. I decided I wanted to have carrot colored <laughs> hair. That's the color I wanted. I wanted to be ginger and that's it. That's all I wanted with my life. So I actually accomplished the color, which it got washed off like within a month or two. Mm. And then I went red, then purple, then back to long, then just let it grow, and didn't do anything for it for a while. So it was just a really, really crazy, crazy, crazy downhill um, <laughs> thing for me yeah. until I stopped. Okay, so was there ever a time that you experimented, maybe you tried something and it went different than you thought? Oh girl, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So, like I said, the hair was like, okay, I would go too much to the salon, it was straight, every time I tried to like curly it up, it would just be straight. Mm -hmm. So I moved to Florida two years ago. So when I moved to Florida, it was different, I didn't have my Dominican girl that used to hook me up. Mm -hmm. So it was just kind of harder, the weather's different. So I started just kind of letting it grow and I started noticing that, hey, this, I could just cut this real quick and it looked better because like my curly hair was the real natural. It was, was coming, it was growing in. Yeah. So yeah. I was just, oh, let me cut a little bit over here. Oh, I can just, and then I started getting like used to cutting it myself. Scissor happy. Bro. <laughs> I'm literally facing my brother and like I have, and, and he hates that I was cutting my hair because he loved my long hair. Uh, so I'm literally talking to him. I'm like, no, it's okay. I'm going to cut this. And because I was just trying to be like mean to my brother because, you know, he was giving me grief about cutting my hair. I cut a big piece. Oh my gosh. And I had to cut my hair so short. I'm just like, ugh. After all that hard work. But, you know, we're recovering now. Uh, okay, well, thanks, Sue, for sharing your stories with us. <laughs> Tell us where we can find out more about you. Well, I'm very active on Instagram. You can find me there. My Instagram is divina underscore Sue. So follow at Davina underscore Sue and at Club Rapunzel. Subscribe for more subscribe, stories. Subscribe. Visit the website and let us know what you think. And see you next time. Bye. Bye.